what is up youtube as y'all seen in that previous video i uh i told y'all basically everything that's been going down and all that and in my life and what my goals are ultimately or not ultimately but what my plans are for the next few months basically on the car so we going to dive straight in this obviously a video from the pot uh for a pothole this is a, a video for the impala i don't know why pothole came to my head probably because all these potholes back here but yeah this is a video for the impala as y'all see based off the title and specifically we're going to be working on the console board. i do have some switches i don't need that many switches on this board i don't plan on being one of those guys with like hella switches all on the board so only thing i'm going to have is a switch for the lights i'm eventually going to have in there um switch to turn off all the amps a switch you know for the push to start so that's three and yeah i can't think of any other reason why i would need a switch honestly so those would be like literally the only three switches i really need for that but um yeah, I'm about to get ready to drill the holes out for those. The three quarter inch uh, drill bit. I forget what these are called. These are not drill bits. They're called something else, but I forget what the name of them are. But as y'all see, I got the three quarter inch one on there. I'm going to try to get them as close and as in a straight line as possible under the equalizer. And then also, um, I'm going to head to the store, see if I can get some, uh, uh, a decent box of screws. I have a little bit left, so I'm going to take and I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to use those screws to see if I can start putting the, the sides and the floor of the console together. But then we had to uh, start thinking of like a, 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 a compartment area. Then I'm going to have to grab some hinges so that way I'll be able to open and shut the compartment area. But um, yeah, there's going to be a lot coming in this video. Um, I'm going to be showing you all. We're also going to be running at least two runs of zero gauge to the back. I want to say I should have all the RCA cables that I'm going to need to at least that needs to run to the back of the car. Now I know I don't have all the RCAs that go from that's supposed to go from the deck to the head uh to the equalizers as I don't have any more the uh the shorter ones but I know for sure I should have at least the the run for the mids amp uh the base amp and i should have enough for the highs amp but i'll look and see how many sets of rcas i have if not i'm not going to be able to put the console completely down i'm going to have to order a set of rcas and <clears throat> wait till they come in and then i'll be able to put the console completely in but um without further ado let's start drilling out these uh three holes i'm gonna drill them out real quick and then i'll see y'all once i'm done drilling those out all right guys as y'all see got all three of the holes uh drilled out i already test fit one of the switches in here they do fit so one switch i only have two of them just to throw on the board for now one of them's not going to be on here because that's the one that's already in the car and i'll put that in there once uh whoa i don't know if y'all just heard that i don't know if y'all can hear that or not but it sounds like an eagle or a hawk somewhere but anyways like i said got all three of these holes i'm going to put two of the switches in i'm going to start seeing about where i want the armrest slash like compartment area to sit at i'm still unsure if i want to throw cup holders on this or not because my main concern is i don't want to have cup holders on here and then somehow accidentally i take a turn or something one day and then it spills all over everything that is literally my worst possible fear that could happen to this so i'm kind of like leaning towards not putting cup holders on this plus i don't really plan on like driving and eating in this car this is like the one car i plan on not doing that in as much as i possibly can refrain from myself from doing that but like i said i'm about to throw two of the switches in here um start marking up where i want to build a compartment and start putting the sides and the bottom of this together and i'll see if i can cut the uh i should have enough wood to cut the two end pieces for it so right now let me throw these two switches in here real quick and then i'll show y'all how basically how the switches will look all right got y'all see got two of them on here they both work and they do have lights on them but i'm pretty sure the one that i really only need the light for is in which i'm probably gonna actually no the two that i need lights for is just these two one for the amps to let me know if the amps are on and one for my lights whenever i put them in there to let me know they're on 
Now the brake switch, as y'all know from my push to start system that I have in here, that doesn't need a light. I just need to be able to turn that on and off. That doesn't need no light to turn. And I don't need any status to let me know that it's going to be on or off. So I just need it just to be plain, a plain up button. I was trying to find some toggle buttons, but I don't know the official name for them. So I couldn't find any online. So that's the reason why I went with toggle switches. But I did want buttons because I think buttons would have looked a little bit more better. But this is what we got to deal with. So now let me go ahead and start thinking about how I'm going to go ahead and start making this uh, this board. All right, guys, as y'all see this how it's looking, that's the compartment box right there that I'm going to be building for it. I'm going to try to glue this together rather than screw it together because I don't want it the wood to be splintering out on this. So I'm going to glue this together and probably call it a day and then pick up tomorrow morning and see how um, see how much the glue dried and all of that. But as y'all see, it's, it's coming together. It's coming together. Now, to explain the gap, it's going to be going right here i still have a a, a voltage meter to come uh, a set of quick charge usb ports a 12 volt socket and then normal 2.1 amp usb ports coming in so that's where this space is all going to come in at but um as y'all see the center console is for sure coming together it's for sure coming together i can't wait um i I know I want to wrap it with some type of fabric, but I don't know how I haven't wrapped fabric, let it on wrap anything with a card. Anything close to that is probably tent, and I don't do too good of a job. I mean, I do a decent job with that, but not the best. So, um, yeah, as y'all see, um, I'm going to pick up tomorrow morning because I'm about to go in here and relax for the rest of the day. Um, but we'll be picking up first thing tomorrow morning. I'm going to go grab some screws. I'm probably going to come back out here later on today once I get some more free time and glue this together and take a quick little uh, clip of y'all, clip for it for, to uh, show y'all. But, um, yeah, guys, see y'all tomorrow morning. All right, now, as y'all see, I am going to have to sand this a little bit to make this top flat because I do want this top to be flat because I want it to be able to open and shut, no problems. Um, but as y'all see, it's coming together. I did put one screw in each corner to like keep it compressed together so that way the, the glues are going to expand and try to spread it out. So I don't know how, but this one looks like it got twisted a little bit. I don't know. That's fine. I just, you know, I'm not going to go crazy with the grinder like I did on my sub box. I'm going to use the sandpaper and take it slow. Just sand down like this edge here. And I want to say I did a very good job with cutting because this is the only raised edge. Other than that, all of these other ones pretty much almost line up perfect. So this is the only real raised edge. And it seems like there's a gap there. That That's only because I didn't take this screw all the way in because the little impact on here was making too much noise. So I had stopped it for a second. But um, I will drive that screw in all the way here in a second. But... As y'all see, this is how the compartment's coming. Um, I do need to get some hinges for this top here. Um, I do kind of want to put like a cushion on top and wrap some fabric around it. So um, when I do get to that, I will show y'all. But for now, I want to let this dry for a little bit. And then um, while this dries for a little bit, I'm going to grab the other pieces to this console and start screwing them together as quietly as possible. At least until like, 7 8 a.m um but this is where we at for now but i'll see y'all in a little bit all right guys before we get back on the console i have the other pieces of wood right here i want to show y'all i got all the tweeters now all eight of them y'all seen what tweeters in that other video previous video these are the tw350 ti4s eight of them four in the front four in the back Four of them are going to go in this rear deck with the tens. And I uh, think I'm just going to put the tens in the four tweeters back here. I was going to add six and a halfs back here, but I was like, uh, that's going to be a little too much. I don't need too many because the tens already. I'm thinking of cone area, I'm trying to match the cone area like somewhat what it is up front to the back. So 
basically there's going to be what there's going to be about 48 inches of cone area of mids in the front there's going to be 20 inches of mids cone area in the back maybe i'll still add those six and a half to even it out a little bit now that i just added all that together but I don't know if that really matters when it comes to like mid base drivers. I know it does definitely substantially matter whenever you uh when it comes to base and sub because more cone area does get you louder. So I don't know what it about with the mids, but like I said, I just have the two tens and the tweeters to go back here for now. Not sure about the six and a halves. I was even thinking of throwing some six by nines back here with the tens. Because that was the uh, the original cutouts for this rear deck for the Impalas. They come with 6x9s from the factory. But when I got my car from the, uh, from the dealership, it wasn't brand new or nothing. I had got it from a buy here, pay here. There wasn't no speakers in the rear deck. And that's why I had put the RPXs in there a whole while back. And then they ended up blowing. But I don't think they blew because of like like clipping or anything. I really think they blew because of the the base in the trunk, and there is like nothing like I could show y'all on the inside of the trunk. There's nothing that stops like the air from inside the trunk going up to the rear deck. So I was even looking at the uh, the six by nines one day while the base was playing and seeing like they were like they were definitely overstretching than what they needed. And one of the one day I had looked up there and noticed that one of the tweeters had completely broke off from one of the. Uh, from the vibration so i really want to say the bass killed those speakers so i'm going to try to seal it off in the rear deck when i put these speakers in there because i don't want the bass to kill them now the tweeters i shouldn't have to worry about but still going to do my due diligence and cover those as well but it's all going to come together but that's going to be a separate video but i'm about to get ready to start putting this stuff together um, like y'all seen this stuff, I still haven't touched it. Should be almost like damn near about dry now. Yeah, it's not moving like it was before. It's not shifting or anything. It feels solid, so I'll probably throw a few more screws in it. Um, yeah, and then maybe today I'll go pick up the hinges and stuff for this. Maybe, maybe not. But um, that's all I need. Some hinges for the top. I might double layer the top. Because the hinges that I was looking at, they are, I think the smallest one I've seen was like an inch. It, the top piece is like an inch and a quarter. And then the bottom piece is like two, I think like two and a half inches. So I know if I put two pieces of wood together, come out to an inch and a half thick total. So if I stay under that, it should be fine. So going to cut out another piece of that and basically glue them together and the whole top piece will be two layers thick. Um, I was even maybe thinking about like two layers thick on the inside of here, but I was like, I'm going to take away from the room, the small amount of room that I already have in here. So I said, no, I'm not going to do that. But I am going to line the inside of in here with some type of fabric because I don't want this to be like all like the wood fill and all of that. I am going to try to get these screws down in here a little bit more to make it flush. So that way when I do throw that fabric down, those screws don't stick up through. So I don't know what fabric. I'm trying to look for something smooth, like something like that's normally on the inside of uh, center consoles. Like mainly, I, I see it on like a, some, like a lot of the older cars that have like the cloth on the inside of the center console. Like some of the Cadillacs and like Buicks and stuff like that. I think it's like suede or something on the inside of it. But that's one of what I want to put inside here. I looked up some. It was like normal, like I think it was like cotton fabric material. It was it was only one way stretch or two way stretch. Or, yeah, I think it was one way stretch because you only could stretch it in one direction. But they it, it was dumb cheap. I was going to order it, but I haven't ordered it yet. So need to figure out what material I'm going to put in here. Um, yeah, other than that, um, I'm gonna stop talking. Start screwing these together. Also, this is the tent right here for the Impala that I have to put on. Got the tent for that. This basket right here basically just got all the parts for the Impala that I plan on putting in here. So, everything sitting in here, that's the Impala parts bin. This is also the new core support for the G35. And I have a new front bumper for it. And I did give away the... uh 
I didn't give it away. I sold it for like super cheap to this uh guy. I'm gonna put his uh YouTube down in the description. He's here local. He's a local here in the Harrisburg area. Um I sold it to him. He's a drifter. He drifts his G thirty five, so I know he for sure appreciates the tail lights and uh, the uh front bumper that I sold him because you know, drifting things can anything can happen. So I'm gonna definitely link his stuff down in the uh description. I seen his G, it's nice. But um yeah, let me stop talking and finish uh, putting this stuff together real quick so y'all can see it. Oh, snap, y'all. Y'all see? It's definitely starting to look like a center console now. Now, minus the, you know, the imperfections that we got fixed, as y'all see right here. But this is generally how it's going to look. Head unit, equalizers, switches, and then voltage meter and USB ports right there. It's starting to look, ooh, so from the side, it looks, definitely looks, definitely looks good. This looks way better than the first console that I made, hands down. Literally, it does. But, as y'all see right here, the wood is sticking out further than what it is back here, but that's only because of the screws that I have, the bracket. And, I'm going to show y'all all of that here in a second, but just a short explanation. I'm going to have to chisel out the wood a little bit. For it to fit the screws that go in the bracket, so that way the wood can go back close a little bit. So, I'm going to be basically probably seeing if I can find a chisel or even just take a simple flathead and chisel down a little channel for the screw to be able to go in. But that's all I need to do for that. Um, I do have to cut one piece for the front and the back is completely sealed and it's crazy because this piece of wood here was just a spare piece of wood sitting to the side that i was actually going to throw in the trash but i actually measured it and it ended up being the correct measurement i needed for the uh basically one of the front or back panel and i decided to throw it on the back but you'll see this is it's definitely coming together y'all just imagine some wrap on this thing with some type of fabric or something sometime soon um, the head unit, I'm going to be ready to wire that up here soon. I got to make sure I have all the RCAs. I still didn't check that, but, um, y'all see, man, it's definitely coming together. Yo, that's definitely, that's definitely, I don't know. This just got me excited seeing it semi put together like this. Anybody who like does any type of project on their own once they start to see the project start to slowly come to an end you just start to get that excitement like you can't wait to see it done but yeah man this definitely is going to be way better like y'all can even tell by like y'all see remember the last console i'm gonna try to even throw a clip of that john in there but the last console there was like it was just like all open up here you know what i mean but you know what i mean we live and we learn and even still this console still ain't perfect by any means but it's better so i'm progressing that shows that i'm learning from my mistakes so and then what we do is we learn from the mistakes we made on this one and then when we go to do it for a third time and just keep going on we're going to continue to learn and perfect our craft but yeah man this is definitely this build is definitely coming together so definitely stay tuned y'all this ain't the end so like i said this ain't the end i'm just saying stay tuned for all the content that's going to be coming soon because i got a lot of stuff coming but yeah man this definitely definitely looks fucking good all right guys we're back now um as y'all see i had the front on here i had those spots cut out that I said for the head unit. Now, also, I didn't do the best job chiseling out, but I think I got enough for the deck to slide in here perfectly fine. But as y'all see, the bottom base of the console is basically put together. Oh, yeah, I did cut my hole out for where the wires are going to come up through. Looks like some glue got on here, but ain't nothing. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to screw this completely down until I know for sure I'm done with putting everything in the console. And I'm not going to do like the last time how I just left it completely unscrewed. No, I'm going to be ordering the uh, those voltage meters and USB ports like I was to uh, telling you all about this week. We'll be ordering those um, to throw in the console. Uh, other than that, nothing else needs to go in here. I'm pretty sure I need to order one set of RCAs, but that should be all else I need uh, pertaining to the console. So 
I'm actually going to, uh, I'm actually about to mock everything up one more time on here for y'all to see now with the front piece on here and basically give y'all, try to create the image for y'all a little bit once more again and try to see if I can go a little bit more in detail and explain what I haven't explained before about the console. And then after that, tomorrow is kind of late right now. Tomorrow I'm going to work on running the two runs of zero gauge that I have and the RCAs that I have for now and the Impala. And then after that, we're going to wrap it up. So let me get this put together for y'all so y'all can see how it's going to look. All right, now y'all, y'all see where we at with this. It's all basically together. It is going to be a little bit, the fitment is going to look kind of awkward up here because as y'all see, I had to put a, like, a wedge up here in between the wood to that uh, way the head unit could fit in here because the space was literally just the length of the head unit. And so the brackets that I have that's holding it in wasn't fitting at all. So I put one of these on one side and as you see, it looks lopsided, but for the most part, you only can really tell in the front. The back, you won't really see this area all that well and i think i'm just gonna go with paint i think i might order some more of that duramax stuff sorry for rubbing my nose make my voice sound like that but yeah uh i'm gonna get some of that duramax paint and i'm gonna actually because i like the way the texture of that feels and it kind of waterproofs the wood a little bit so i'm gonna paint all of this with that duramax paint or not duramax duratech i don't know why i kept saying duramax but uh yeah, I'm going to paint this with the black Duratex paint. And the good thing about that is, is the actual Duratex paint is paintable. So, like, I could spray paint on top of it if I wanted to. So, I'm probably just going to leave it black, which is going to be the color the paint is going to come in. So, I think I, I have a little bit over there, but I know for sure I need to order an, uh, another one because I used it all on my box. But, as y'all see, this is where we're at for with it for now. Um, on my phone, I do have, I, I'm going to have to make a part two to this video because I don't have that much space left on my phone. Only got about like five minutes left to record. So this is going to be the end of part one and part two. We're going to be picking up with running all the wires. Um, I'm going to have to paint. We're going to paint this. Uh, I will have that other switch ready to go in here. It's basically going to be the install of this, uh, console. But like I said, guys. Stay tuned for part two. Um, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.